Ladies and gentlemen, referee Lucas Pisaki is called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 47 seconds of round number two. To claim the winner by TKO Below, remember the name, Muhammad! Hey, hey, let's go, let's go! Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with Bilal Muhammad. Bilal, your pressure tonight was next level. Was that the game plan to pressure Sean, get him on his heels, and strike with him? You said you thought you could finish him. Is this what you expected? Yeah, honestly, I was working. This is the hardest camp I ever worked, man. My team back in Chicago, shout out to him. Shout out to Habib, the best team in the world. He brought me in. Those guys are different, man. I told you, I never worked harder in my life for this camp, man. I felt like I was being disrespected. They were making me fight down. I beat two top five guys in a row. So I had to go out here and I had to put on a performance for my people. Abu Dhabi, I had to do it for you guys. The energy in here was amazing. There's no way I could have never freaking finished this guy. Bilal, let's take a look at some of your work here. You got on the gas immediately and you put Sean on his heels. Right here, you faint the jab and land this overhand right. Did you see this in the buildup as a strike that you might be able to land on it? Uh, I mean, the only thing I heard was Coach Habib in the corner, finish him, finish him. And I'm like, everybody was saying, what is Habib gonna do in the corner? I'm like, bro, he made me finish him. Like, he forced me to do it. He kept pushing the action. And when Coach Habib talks, I listen. You said that in that training camp, you work harder than ever. Were you guys training together? You training with Habib? And how much did it feel and raise your confidence going into the octagon tonight? Bro, that whole team is a full of monsters. I was just training with Abu Bakr, who just won earlier. Coach Habib, you thought he was a monster at lightweight. At heavyweight, he's a different guy. He's a, he's a, he's a bigger monster right now. But, uh, you know, that, that team is just another level. All them guys, they brought me in like one of their own. We're all brothers now. It's a family, and I'm, I'm blessed. I'm blessed to be a part of that team, and I'm thankful for my team. Shout out to my manager, Ali Abdelaziz. I love you, brother. And man, alhamdulillah. Bilal, you said tonight you have to fight down. There are some massive opportunities in front of you. What's next for Bilal Muhammad? as you have now won eight fights in a row and un unbeaten in nine. I heard Leon Edwards is out here. Where is he at? I also heard the big bad wolf is coming back down. I can fight at 179.8. Don't matter to me, I'm here to fight the best people. Did you see, this dude was undefeated. I was having so many people tell me, why are you taking it? I'm taking it because I can beat the best, everybody in this division. I'm gonna be the champion 2023. You better believe it. Put out my name right now. Well, if that's how you're gonna fight going forward, it was so fun. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Bilal Muhammad.